a little bit, get a little bit of information. This is a focus group. If you're in marketing, you know what that means. Well, I sat inside of that office, which was beautiful. It was right on the water downtown, and I could look through their gorgeous windows and see so much empty office space. It was depressing. I was like, this is San Francisco. They've been ravaged by COVID, right? People took their San Francisco salaries and they moved to places where they could hide, like Pittsburgh, and keep their big, big salaries without having to go into a really crazy downtown. Just a few months later, Salesforce announced their Dreamforce conference was going to be 100% focused on AI. So anybody here who's in Salesforce, and I know there's a few of you who are really interested in how Salesforce operates or have been to Dreamforce, all of their uh, sessions had AI in the title, AI in the description, and I thought, well, this is rich. You know, we're dealing with people who, very often times, are still using Excel, and I'm not gonna ask you to raise your hands. If you are, it's okay. Excel is a BI tool. Um, you know, we've got, I mean, if you're working in healthcare, you know, we're still using fax machines there. But we're in the middle of the 4.0 industrial revolution in its fourth way. If you can remember back to your elementary school history classes, you probably learned about the gold rush, right? It was literally the wild, wild west. And that's what this feels like right now. Everybody's screaming AI. You've got people who are using ChatGPT in ways that maybe aren't regulated. Your company probably can't come up with policies and procedures fast enough to keep up with it. And it is happening all over the place. There are loads of shadow IT systems that are out there. So today I just want to introduce you to what's happening and how you can use a framework that you've already defined in your mind to make sure that your organization is ready for AI. And that may be internal and it might be external. I want to tell you really quickly that the Harvard Business Review put out an entire magazine article, I mean an entire magazine issue that said how to reskill in the age of AI. And I can tell you every single person in here is going to be impacted by AI. You need new skills. You're here. Congratulations. You made a choice to say, I'm going to spend a lot of my days to learn a few new skills, a few new words, and how I'm going to fit in through this process. So there are five things here that you can see. Um, reskilling is a strategic imperative. It has to be handled at the top. So I want to tell you that when I did my PhD research, um, I did it on CRM user adoption, which makes me very fun at parties. Invite me to all of yours. <laughs> I'd love to talk about why people don't adopt technology. And how many of you here would say you're an early adopter or an innovator when it comes to technology? Okay, not enough for a room full of people that are in an AI machine learning <laughs> summit, but okay. So that tells you what's the rest of your organization look like. When you're thinking about a diffusion of innovation curve, and it's a really standard bell curve, only 16% of people would say, I'm an early adopter or I'm an innovator, and that probably just came through with the you know, little hand raises we had here. So think about the rest of your organization and how they're gonna get through it. Um, organizational change management has only really been an academically focused uh, topic since the 1960s. So it has not been around for a long time. However, organizations move so slowly that it hasn't changed very much. Change management can really be um, taken down to three simple steps. This is the Lewin model from 1967, which is you have to unfreeze the way people are currently doing things, you have to make the change, and then you have to refreeze so that you can help drive these changes. Well, when it comes to AI, guess what? You've already heard today, every single session I've been in today, somebody has mentioned fear. Right, people have fear, they have uncertainty, they have doubt, they don't want to reskill, they're nervous about it, they don't know what's coming around, they're afraid you're gonna take their job away because AI is coming in. And I've heard a few people today say already, yeah, jobs are gonna change, now there's something new called a prompt engineer. We hadn't heard about that in 2018, right? Nobody knew what it meant to write a really good prompt unless you worked at Google and you were thinking about the way people ask questions, right? So as you're thinking about this, I want to tell you, and we're going to skip through to this, that there are five general levels. And you've heard about the crawl, walk, um, run concept. This is pretty similar. I love to use this with my clients and say, point to where it hurts, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a doctor. I'm not that kind of doctor. But you can point on the scale and tell me what hurts. 